What is up, everybody? It is Eric from Amazon Lit. Please do not forget to smash that subscribe button. We are here bringing you another educational video on how to grow your Amazon business. Today's topic is hazmats and how to submit the proper documentation to get a product reclassified from a hazmat to a non-hazmat so you can ship that product to FBA centers, start selling more units, and line your pockets with money. Enjoy the video. Stay lit. First things first, you're going to go to Seller Central up to this text box at the top right corner of, of Amazon Seller Central. And you're going to want to type in MSDS, which stands for Material Safety Data Sheet. So you're going to click search and you're gonna scroll down to this first option, which says require dangerous goods, hazmat information and documentation. You're gonna select that, and now you're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way to the bottom here, to under this last category where it says exemption sheet for products without harmful chemicals. So this is for products that are being classified as a hazmat when you know they're not a hazmat. And most of the products that are classified as hazmats are products that are used either on your skin or your face, sometimes even grocery products, sometimes toys can be considered hazmats, and you know they're not hazmats just because the use of them, they're for either human consumption or use on your body, so you know they're not considered hazmats. So the idea is to get that product removed from being a hazmat. And you're gonna to go to option four here, upload an exemption sheet, and it gives you some directions on how to upload an exemption sheet. So you go to select upload an exemption sheet. Now it gives you some information. I would encourage reading this information. I'm not gonna read it to you. Basically says that safety data sheets are for chemical based products that might be regulated as dangerous goods. And in the event that an SDS for your product doesn't contain any harmful chemicals, then it will be switched from an hazmat to a non-hazmat. Um, and there's two different exemption sheets so those exemption sheets can be found on the right here exemption sheet for battery and battery powered products so if amazon's considering your product that has that because it has a lithium ion battery um, or some sort of battery in it and you want to challenge that has back categorization then you could submit an exemption sheet for a product that has a battery or power battery powered product uh, but the one we're going to look at is the exemption sheet for products without harmful chemicals so you want to click this and now in the bottom left hand corner of your screen an excel file is going to populate you're going to want to open that excel file it asks for some information first it describes you know a product that is regulated as dangerous goods if any of its components are classified as dangerous goods or substances or are otherwise regulated by any official organization that governs safe transport storage or handling of goods. This exemption sheet will be accepted only for products that do not contain possibly harmful chemicals or substances. Alcohol, isopropanol, acetone, hydroxide, sodium, acid. So if you see that your product that you're trying to get approval for contains some of these in substances, then there's a, a very high chance that Amazon is not going to approve it because they're going to see it in the ingredients list and they're not even going to consider it. So what I like to do is start filling out this information and then you want to put in your name and then I want to keep scrolling to the right and it's going to ask some questions. So it says, does your product bear a warning or danger phrase? And then it has a drop down selection, either yes or no. So we're going to assume that all of these are no. All right, so now we have the base of this template and what I want to do or what you want to do is you want to save this as a template in a new folder. We'll call this new folder hazmats and we'll go into this folder and we're going to save this file as hazmat template and now that file I no longer have to put my first and last name. I no longer have to select no for these. This file is saved with 25% of the information that needs to be submitted. 
and it's pretty standard across the board. So now I, I'm saving myself time. So now you scroll over to the right here and ask for some additional information. So first thing I ask for is an ASIN. So I have a product here that Amazon considers a hazmat. So this is the product. Clear Sill Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1. Uh, it's selling for $16.44. It's moving 410 units a month. Let's say I'm paying $2.50 for this product. It's $7 dollars and 50 cents for the three pack it's probably 16.74 let's say you're even paying nine dollars see if there's any money in there dollar 99 not great but if you could get this product for like i said 250 before which would be 750 for the three pack you can make 349 on this product which is which is reasonable take a look at keepa it's been pretty consistent so what you're going to need to do here pull the ASIN from this listing and we are going to paste this ASIN in the ASIN category and then ask for the product name and now when I ask for the product name it's not asking for what you think the product should be called it's not asking for what the products called on the package it's not asking for what your distributor has it in their catalog it's asking for the actual listing title on amazon.com so you just want to take this listing title copy it paste it in the product name and then it asks in this comment P is your product sold with the magnet now this is an acne cream so it definitely doesn't have a magnet and as soon as I select no it's going to actually dark out column Q for the magnet pull force because it doesn't have a magnet in it and now it asks for the full ingredient list with percentages if available so we need to find the ingredients for this product and we're going to do that by doing a basic Google search I'm going to just copy the description of this product I don't need all this extra information Information. I'm going to open up a new Google tab here and I'm going to type in ingredients and then paste the keywords that I'm searching for and it looks like right here the first thing that pops up is not only the active ingredients but also the inactive ingredient. Copy this information and we are going to paste it into the full ingredient list with percentages if available. The last question you ask is, does your product contain compressed gas? The answer is no. So I want to take the ASIN because that's what I want to save it as. And then I'm going to go back to this file and I like to save these files with the ASIN and a brief description of the product. Save that. Final step, we go to amazon.com copy the ASIN you go to seller central and now it says how to upload your SDS or exemption sheet and what we just filled out was an exemption sheet and the last thing I'll show you is how to submit an actual SDS from the manufacturer if you can locate it so it says specify the ASIN marketplace and document language so that's referring to these first three options here so you want to paste the ASIN, the marketplace you're selling on, the language, and then it says choose the file you want to upload. Click upload file. A banner at the top of the screen will say file successfully uploaded. You can then close the window or upload more documents if necessary. For speed steps one through three to upload more documents for the same ASIN or a different ASIN. So this is done on an ASIN to ASIN basis. So it's not like you just submit this documentation and for every single ASIN, the three pack, the six pack, the one pack, the 12 pack, for this Clearasil stubborn acne control, they remove it from hazmat. It's only for the specific ASIN. So that's something to keep in mind. And then you would just choose the file. You would select this Clearasil stubborn acne control and then I would click upload file. Those are the steps. It's very basic. And now the last option you have is let's say this doesn't work or you want to just go right to the source. You can actually pull an SDS, which is a safety data sheet directly from the manufacturer. And how you do that, you are going to do a basic keyword search, safety data sheet and see what pops up. Let's check this out. What do we got? We got the stubborn acne control, five in one spot treatment. It's one ounce and here they are. So safety data sheets, it's got English or Spanish. So we would select the English and boom. Here's the safety data sheet direct from the manufacturer. It actually should say the manufacturer in here. You don't need to know the manufacturer. Um, I just like to learn about the products that I'm selling on Amazon. I think it's a Procter & Gamble product. Who makes Clearasil? 
Procter & Gamble. So I got it right here. And I just like to know this information. If I'm already doing the research, why not learn about the products that I'm selling? And it's important to know the companies that manufacture your products. I think it is, at least it can't hurt to know that information. So here we got the PDF of the safety data sheet for this product. We could do the same thing here. We could save this product in our hazmat folder, hazmat FBA, hazmat's new folder. We'd save it with the ASIN, clear sill, stubborn acne. Let's put PDF in here so I know. Save this file, save as a PDF, and then I would go back to Amazon and paste the ASIN, choose the PDF file that I just saved, here it is, and then I would upload this file. And now Amazon has all the information necessary. So I just gave you two different ways to get a product removed from its classification as a hazmat. Now this will not only help you increase your sales, but it will help other sellers increase their sales as well. Because as soon as the product is no longer considered a hazmat for a specific ASIN, that means it removes it from that hazmat classification for all sellers. So it increases opportunity for you, it increases opportunity for your fellow Amazon sellers, it increases opportunity for us. So it's beneficial for people to submit these MSDS forms it helps Amazon seller community as a whole and anything we can do together as a team to make Amazon a more friendly atmosphere to make more money on a more friendly marketplace to make more money on and line our pockets with money and our souls with happiness is beneficial to everybody so I hope you enjoyed the video if you got any comments or questions leave them below in the comment section have a fantastic rest of your day don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay lit